Ah, uh, do you remember that moment? It's like stepping into a time capsule and being whisked away to the late 80 seconds, a place where big hair, neon colors, and scrunches ruled the scene. Picture yourself lounging in your favorite spot, eyes glued to the TV screen as the iconic theme song starts to play. Yes, that's the magic of the 1989 TV series, Saved by the Bell. From that very first episode, it was like we were welcomed into Bayside High School, a place that felt oddly familiar even if our own high school experiences were miles away. Zach Morris with his cheeky charm, Kelly Kapowski as the girl next door crush, and the unforgettable Mr. Belding. Each character felt like an old friend. And then, the moments. Oh, the moments that are etched into our minds like timeless snapshots. Zack's timeout trick that let him break the fourth wall and address the audience, Screech's awkward yet endearing antics, and the constant back and forth banter at the max. But let's not forget the important life lessons subtly woven into each episode. Friendship, loyalty, growing up, all packaged in a vibrant, laugh out loud sitcom. Now, let's dive beyond the nostalgia and explore some fascinating facts about the show that might just surprise you. Ever wondered about the origin of Zack and Kelly's on-screen chemistry? Or the real story behind the iconic lockers that witnessed it all? Get ready, because we're about to peel back the curtain on these intriguing tidbits that add a whole new layer to your Saved by the Bell experience. So, whether you're reliving those memorable moments or discovering the magic for the first time, one thing's for sure, Saved by the Bell holds a special place in our hearts that transcends generations. It's more than just a TV show, it's a time machine to the days of neon and high school adventures. In 1989, the iconic TV series Saved by the Bell burst onto the screen, captivating audiences with its youthful charm and relatable high school adventures. But few know that the show's inception followed a path of transformations. Originating as Good Morning, Miss Bliss, the series initially centered around John F. Kennedy Jr. High School in Indianapolis, Indiana. After a mere 14 episodes, it met its end. However, NBC saw potential and undertook a remarkable overhaul, transplanting the show to the sun-soaked halls of Bayside High School in Pacific Palisades, California. This shift not only changed the setting but also ushered in a new era by shedding characters and retaining only a core few. Notable among them were Dennis Haskins, Mark Paul Gosselar, Dustin Diamond, and Lark Voorhees. Their seamless transition provided continuity, while the rest of the ensemble was revamped. Curiously, the cross-country move was never formally explained, leading to a tantalizing fan theory. Could the show be an intricate daydream concocted by Zach Morris, the charming slacker who dreams of unrivaled popularity and consequence free escapades? This hypothesis finds support in the show's theme song, purportedly a window into Zach's psyche, and his unique ability to call a timeout, freezing time to address the audience directly. As the series progressed, this whimsical trait evolved into a defining hallmark further blurring the lines between reality and Zack's imaginings. Amid this metamorphosis, another distinctive twist emerged during the show's final season. The spin-off, Saved by the Bell, Graduation, had already been filmed when additional episodes were commissioned. Tiffany Thiessen and Elizabeth Berkley, central figures of the cast, were preoccupied with other commitments. The Solution Enter Lena Creel as Tori, whose episodes were strategically inserted into the season to sidestep chronological inconsistencies. This narrative innovation posited Tori, Kelly, and Jesse all coexisting at Bayside, each with their distinct interactions with Zack, Slater, Screech, and Lisa. The result was an inventive solution that maintained the show's rhythm, even as it juggled real-world constraints. While Saved by the Bell revolved around the on-screen romance between Zack and Kelly, an off-screen connection added another layer of intrigue. Lark Voorhees, who portrayed Lisa Turtle, was Mark Paul Dosselar's real-life partner for a three-year period, extending beyond the show itself. This connection even found its way to Saved by the Bell, Hawaiian style, solidifying their chemistry both on and off-screen. The enduring appeal of Saved by the Bell lies in its ability to blend reality and fiction, on screen and off screen, as effortlessly as Zack's timeouts. The journey from Good Morning, Miss Bliss to the halls of Bayside High showcases the show's resilience and inventiveness. And as fans continue to dissect the show's layers, they uncover not only a snapshot of 90 seconds pop culture, but also a testament to the art of the television reimagining. 
In 1989, a teen sitcom burst onto American screens, captivating young hearts with its relatable characters and schoolyard adventures. Saved by the Bell, a series that would go on to become a cultural touchstone, almost bore a different name, a fact revealed by producer Peter Engel. In a pivotal pre-creation meeting, NBC president Brandon Tartikoff proposed titles like When the Bell Rings. Yet, it was a colleague's suggestion that struck gold, Saved by the Bell. Though Angel initially harbored reservations, the legal team confirmed the name's availability. Overnight, Angel's office transformed, bedecked with triumphant banners displaying the show's iconic moniker. Central to the show's charm was the character AC. Slater, portrayed by Mario Lopez. Beneath his jock persona lies an intriguing tidbit. His first name, AC, represents Albert Clifford. This revelation adds a layer of complexity to Slater's identity, much like the multifaceted relationships that wove the heart of the series. Yet, the show's impact was perhaps most pronounced in the sphere of viewership. A mere four weeks into its run, research conducted by NBC illuminated a staggering statistic. 50% of teenage girls in the United States were tuning in. The resonance of Saved by the Bell with this demographic was nothing short of a cultural phenomenon, cementing its status as a defining show of the era. Saved by the Bell stands as a testament to the interplay of creative decisions and unexpected outcomes. From a fortuitous name choice to character nuances, the show's legacy endures in its ability to capture the spirit of adolescence. As the bell rang, calling students to fictional Bayside High, audiences across the nation were undeniably saved by the charm of this iconic series. Intertwined hearts and tensions, love and drama behind the laughter of Saved by the Bell in the sun-soaked realm of Bayside High School. Saved by the Bell emerged as a quintessential 1989 TV series that captured the essence of teenage life. Beyond the laughter and lessons, however, lay a tapestry of behind-the-scenes stories that rivaled the on-screen drama. One intriguing narrative thread involved the seamless integration of flashbacks, drawing from earlier episodes of Good Morning, Miss Bliss, the show's predecessor. As the show meandered through syndication, perceptive viewers noted the re-edited snippets, where Zach Morris, portrayed by Mark Paul Dosselar, reminisced about his junior high escapades. These glimpses into his past created a unique temporal layer, providing context to the charismatic lead's growth while sustaining a link to the show's origins. Yet, it wasn't only on-screen dynamics that commanded attention. Romance stirred its own cocktail of emotions among the young cast. In a twist worthy of any teen soap opera, Mark Paul Dosselar embarked on separate relationships with each of his female co-stars, triggering a maelstrom of tension. Elizabeth Berkeley assumed the role of his first flame, followed by Lark Voorhees and Tiffany Thiessen. The resulting frictions among the trio reached such an extent that intervention became imperative. The executive producer orchestrated a heart-to-heart, -heart, seeking to mend the fissures that had momentarily torn apart the trio's camaraderie. Times of silence gave way to renewed collaboration, allowing the show to resume with its signature chemistry intact. Amidst the drama, an unexpected aspect of maintaining on-screen perfection came to light. Mark Paul Gosselaar's blonde locks, a signature of his character, necessitated relentless upkeep. Strikingly, the actor found himself dyeing his hair blonde every two weeks to embody the iconic Zach Morris persona. This perpetual metamorphosis showcased the extent to which Gosselar was committed to his role, often leaving him with the challenge of maintaining continuity in his appearance. As Saved by the Bell carved its indelible mark into pop culture history, the narratives that played out behind the curtain mirrored the vitality of its on-screen portrayal. The interplay of reimagined flashbacks, tangled relationships, and the perils of consistent character upkeep formed the tapestry that made the show more than a mere comedy. It became a canvas of life's complexities. In the end, the legacy of Saved by the Bell is not only etched in its episodes, but in the human tales that unraveled alongside its fictional narratives. And as we reminisce about the neon-hued world of Bayside High, we can't help but appreciate the real-life drama that made the show as resonant as it was. Saved by the Bell, the beloved 1989 TV series, continues to captivate audiences even decades after its debut.
While the show's popularity soared through syndication, its history is laced with intriguing anecdotes. Mark Paul Gosselar, who portrayed the iconic Zach Morris, revealed on Larry King now that the series found its stride in syndication, despite facing cancellation after each of its first five seasons. This unexpected trajectory transformed the teenage sitcom into a cultural phenomenon, ingraining Bayside High and its endearing characters into the collective memory. Among the cast, Dustin Diamond stood out, etching his place as the sole actor to grace every episode, spin-off, and movie until the show's reboot. Tragically, his presence was notably absent from the reboot, marked only by a poignant memorial montage. Diamond's passing on February 1, 2021, at the age of 44, left a void, reminding fans of his enduring impact as Screech from the show's inception through its predecessor, Good Morning, Miss Bliss. In a reunion sketch that delighted fans, Elizabeth Berkley, Mark Paul Gosselar, Dennis Haskins, Mario Lopez, and Tiffany Thiessen appeared on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon on February 4, 2015. The sketch artfully lampooned Bayside High, with Fallon assuming the role of a student in classic moments recreated with a touch of satire. Notably absent were Dustin Diamond and Lark Voorhees. Diamond's complex relationship with the cast, coupled with legal troubles, left him out of the spotlight. Voorhees, engrossed in her own commitments, was represented as unavailable. Saved by the Bell continues to weave nostalgia into contemporary culture, a testament to its enduring resonance. As the show remains etched in the annals of television history, its legacy lives on through the indelible moments and the bonds forged by its cast and audience. As we bid adieu to the vibrant halls of Bayside High, where lockers held secrets and friendships were forged in the fires of teenage trials, let us pause and reflect on the timeless journey of Saved by the Bell. A journey that began in the vibrant era of neon lights and cassette tapes, an era where the adventures of Zack, Kelly, Slater, Screech, Lisa, and Jesse became synonymous with the very essence of growing up. As we've navigated our own lives, perhaps it was Zack's charismatic schemes that sparked a daring curiosity within us. Or was it Kelly's effervescent charm that made us believe in the magic of first loves? Slater's undying loyalty, Screech's endearing quirkiness, Lisa's unapologetic fashion statements, and Jess's unyielding passion. These characters weren't just scripted personas, but reflections of the diverse facets that make up our own coming-of-age narratives. Saved by the Bell was more than just a TV show. It was a mirror to our own adolescence, a compass guiding us through the tumultuous waters of high school. It showed us that friendships can weather any storm, that laughter can be the best armor against adversity, and that every awkward stumble can be a stepping stone towards personal growth. Now, dear friends, it's your turn. What were your moments of laughter, of empathy, of connection? What stories do you hold close, like treasured pages of your own personal yearbook? As we bid farewell to this cherished series, we invite you to share your thoughts, your anecdotes, and your favorite memories. Let us weave together a tapestry of nostalgia that pays homage to the impact this show had on our lives. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us. Your time and sentiment are deeply appreciated. Together, let's celebrate the resonance of Saved by the Bell in our hearts and memories. Until we reconvene on this digital platform once more, remember that the lessons learned, the laughs shared, and the friendships kindled are all part of a legacy that lives on within us. Warmest wishes, and until next time.